Hey, how's it going? Uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to with uh, collecting. I appreciate your time. So uh, this is going to be another uh, book haul, uh, update 28. So here we go. I'll start off with showing some books on the uh, movies. Uh, first up I got finally off my want list is Men, Women, and Chainsaws. Uh, Gender in the Modern Horror Film. Uh, this book originally came out in, uh, back in 1992. And uh, it's been a pretty popular one ever since. So yeah, I've had my eye on this one for quite some time. Just finally dropped it in the cart and checked out finally. This is from author Carl J. Clover. Um, so yeah. Cool. Won't take long to uh, finish that one up. It's not a very big book, as you can see. Here's the spine. This was published through uh, Princeton through their classics line. So cool. I have a few books that sort of touch on this topic, but no books like strictly dedicated to this. So this will be this will be pretty cool to get through. So that's that. I'm glad to get that. Uh, I had my eye on this one for a while as well. This is like the revised edition, um, second edition of this uh, book here. It's been a few new things added into it since its first release. It's um, Rape Revenge Films, A Critical Study, uh, author Alexandria Heller Nicholas. Love the cover to that. We got a little bit of Miss 45, some thriller. And I think that's what Lady Snowblood, maybe? Um, my memory's kind of foggy on the center character there. You guys let me know which one that is. I don't remember right, right now. Here's the back. You guys can see that. Pause it whenever you need to. This one was published by another, uh, yeah, McFarland Books. Pretty neat. No nudity throughout here. So I can, so it is okay for me to sort of flip through here and show you as best I can. Hold on. It's just easier than doing it this way. You got Argento and his daughter Asia towards the back there. That's interesting. This book also covers on newer films so that's nice it's not just classic and cult films only so i remember watching that one that was pretty good it's another good one you guys can see that yeah i've been wanting this book for quite some time uh finally found one with a price drop so I snatched it up quickly I can find a table of contents for you pretty simple I'm glad to get this book. Oh, been on the want list for a while. That's those two. And then I don't know if I'm going to collect every single one of these volumes, but I did want to get volume one just to check it out. Curiosity. And it's it's put out by a Ted A. I can't ever say his last name right. Ted A. Bohas or Bahas, uh, the, the Deadly Spawn guy. Um, he started this. He started this back in uh, 2020, and he's already up to volume 24, 25, and they're all like this really nice hardcover edition, so really nice fanzines, I guess you can call, um, all loaded with uh, interviews and just classic monster behind the scene photographs and stuff like that. So yeah, I've been curious about this, these books for a while, and figured I'd at least go after volume one for now. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to want to collect every single one of these. Um, I was hoping maybe he, he'd made soft, 
the soft cover books as well because they'd be cheaper. But all I can find are just the, I think he's only doing these as hardcover, which is fine, but it's going to take some time to kind of grab these every now and then. Um, yeah, the images are really printed really nice, clear. Um, so is the font. It's really good, clear, big enough. Pretty small, so pretty cool. Bunch of interviews and whatnot. Agent of the Body Snatchers. Cool classic stuff. I love the back. Got the Forbidden Planet. Or is it Forbidden World? No, it's Forbidden Planet. <laughs> I get that mixed up. So yeah, that's what's his name? Uh, his last name Bajas, or I ever say his name? It's right there, right there in the center. He has a store on eBay. I've bought from him before. Um, he sells pretty cool stuff every now and then on his eBay store. If any of you ever knew that, uh, deadly spine guy. But pretty cool. That's volume one. I believe it's up to volume 24, 25, something like that, which is, it's nuts since he, considering he started doing these series of books in 2020 during the COVID times. So yeah, Candid Monster, Candid Monsters, volume one. And then I love these, uh, the art of books. I grab these when I can. This is like the fourth one I've grabbed now. This one is the art of the zombie movie. One of those fantastic, uh, you can call them coffee table books, really. This came out sometime last year, and they had one that came out recently, uh, the art of sci-fi movies, which I want to get that one as well. I know that'll be a lot of fun. Bless you. So yeah, pretty cool. I have um, all the horror ones, like the art of horror, the art of horror movies, and then the art of pulp horror. And now the art of zombie movie. Here, oh, excuse me, here's the spine. The spine to these books are really cool. I believe that's um, one of the zombies from Return of the Living Dead. And I think that's the artwork used in the, uh, the UK. Um, their UK quad poster, I believe, at the time. I could be wrong, but that looks crazy familiar. I think that's one of the Return of the Living Dead zombies. But yeah, I love this series of books. These are very nice from uh, Applause, I believe. Yeah, Applause books, Applause Theater and Cinema books series. And I will flip through these as best I can. This one's not as huge, so it's not as awkward as trying to flip through these pages. have that older record that green uh, dawn of the dead soundtrack that old that's that came out years ago along with the uh, waxwork the new waxwork records one was really nice but yeah you guys get the get the point these are awesome books you get a lot you get a lot a lot for your money with uh, these books good stuff that's that Um, I'll start with, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to figure out how to um, show. These are just awkward in size. Um, these are the older books that I've had on my want list for a while. I'm trying to go for the more, these older vintage ones. Um, uh, they don't have dates on them, so I don't know when this came out. Uh, this almost looks like early, early 90s or maybe late 80s. Uh, the Look of Horror, um, Scary Moments from Scary Movies. And this is all like the very uh, mainstream uh, of horror cinema with this one. I don't think there's really too many of what you consider obscure titles covered in this one. So, And I knew that, getting this book. Um, I'll try my best to, let's see what it looks like without the dust jacket 
Mm. Nothing. Anything on the spine? Yeah, so you, at least you got the title there. Okay. Um, I'm pleased with this book. Uh, the pictures and everything. Uh, everything's just nice, thick, glossy pages. Um, really well done. As you can see, and somebody took really good care of this book. I mean, it's practically brand new. And then you have your creatures section. So yeah, it's broken up into sections. You got you know, one section there. I think the table of contents is, contents is in the back. But then you've got your um, maniacs and killers slashers section. Yeah, good stuff. It's a cool book. I dig it. Um, I just wish it had a date on it. I don't know when exactly this came out. Uh, so this is by Jonathan Sternfield. There's a spine on that. And I don't know if it was this, the guy who sold this to me or maybe it's previous collector before him, but they put on this nice protective clear uh, sleeve. So that's, I appreciate that. Yeah, one of those older horror cinema books I've been wanting to get. I got that. Nice little coffee table book. And then this this big boy here which feels like it weighs like uh, 15 pounds. Um, it's huge. I swear that the books that they put out back then um, were gigantic. Horror of the 20th century. And it's covers a little bit of everything it's not just um cinema it's uh they go over novels and horror comics and yeah pretty much just a little bit of everything so that surprised me i thought this was just going to be on just uh just movies but a little bit of everything so i'll do my best to flip through here well let's, let's see what it looks like without the uh, dust jacket cool so you do get some art with this one got like a nice um, red hazy uh, image there love the red there's the spine okay hold on <laughs> that's just so awkward okay open it up right off the bat and you get like uh Dr. Frankenstein's castle, or is that Dracula? Can't tell. A cool image of a gothic castle. I think that's Dracula. And then I'll flip through here. Um, covers weird tales, which is awesome. I'm just getting into weird tales. Which I know. Um, Definitely one that's been around since the 1920s, which is crazy awesome. Uh, this this book is amazing. I, I finally came after a, a good one that was priced really well, so um, for a good deal. horror comics EC stuff Are you okay in there what, what are you doing dishes yeah. okay sorry about that hopefully you guys can hear me is gigantic <laughs> it feels like it weighs 15 pounds i swear okay so you guys yeah so awesome um finally glad to get another older book that i'm finally glad to get my hands on so gigantic book cool stuff so that is all the uh, books i grabbed as far as like the cinema stuff
let's get to uh let's just knock these out though some horror comics um i'm finally diving into weird tales um i want to get more of these these sort of archival kind of collection of weird tales um stuff here this is the 100 years of weird nicely done so finally diving into more of that weird tales uh, from 1923 to uh, 2023. So this just came out recently. Uh, there's two other books I want to get uh, going over certain uh, um, magazines and, and or certain editions that Weird Tales had, done, had covered that I want to get. But yeah, pretty stinking cool. Take that off. Here's the back, right up on that back there. You guys can see it. Pause it if you need to. This is iconic. I know each and every one of you have seen this image before. Pretty cool, huh? Don't know the story, but I've seen that image. It's loaded with pretty much everything. It's very cool. So yeah, finally getting into some, uh, finally adding some weird tales into the collection. Didn't have anything from, from weird tales. All right. Oh, as soon as I get my other room all organized in the way I want it, it's getting there. I will be um, finally sitting on a chair. I'll have a desk and I'll be way more comfortable doing these videos. Um, and I will no longer have to be sitting on the floor uh so yeah I'll, I'll have videos being done in the other room of course that'll then you won't see the whole video store vibe thing but oh well i'm <laughs> i'm getting too old to be sitting on the floor sitting on the floor uh so okay so after weird, weird tales i got in another um book from uh, yeah ps art books this is the complete collected works of strange mysteries grab these when i can Here's all what's covered in this collection here. Another one that didn't last that long, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, 1958 through 1964. Awesome. PS Art Books is uh, really nice stuff. And yeah, these are all in, all in color. Hey! Uh, yes, can somebody let her in? Can you let her in? Yeah. Okay, buddy, thanks. The dog was outside. She's wanting back in. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah. Well, I'm, uh, yeah, Strange Mysteries Collection. Alright, and then continuing on with collecting the EC archives. Um, this is volume four of The Haunt of Fear from Dark Horse. Love what Dark Horse is doing. Collecting, I want to collect all these. Here's what's included on the back of this one. Good stuff, all in color. Even has all the ads, all the original ads with it. So volume four, awesome. And I'm gonna probably start getting into the crime ones as well. Um, so yeah, they got two volumes of those out. Um, I didn't think I was, but I'm going to go after the the crime stories as well. 
Uh, there's one, there's a few stories that's caught my eye that seem really too, really cool and, and supernatural. So I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to, have to collect those uh, crime ones as well. So, and then this, I think this kept getting pushed back and pushed back. And then finally we have volume four of the Tales from the Crypt. So such a long gap between the volume, when volume three came out and then when volume four finally, um, just dropped so like i said before i'm just glad they're re-releasing these um it felt like i was waiting forever for volume four so awesome good stuff so that is the volume fours that are now that are now out and then uh continuing on with collecting eerie uh this is volume seven um issues 32 through 36 beautiful stuff again getting more of the dark horse awesome so up to volume seven now. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, pretty cool. And then diving into some more of what uh, Dark Horse has been dishing out. I'm going to try to get all these when I can. Um, they finally started spitting out more of these at um, the start of, I think, mid last year. So getting some more Corbin, some art, more art from him. Um, he's been known to dabble in with the eerie and the creepy stuff. So then this is volume one. So this one's awesome fantasy with some horror and a little bit of sci-fi mixed in with this one so yeah really cool so yeah i want to get uh i believe there are three volumes out now and the fourth one's about to drop so got a little bit of catching up to do on with this series as well so i'm getting a lot of dark dark horse definitely getting a lot of dark horse uh nowadays adding to the book collection so yeah definitely had to jump on volume one there that um gorgeous book um gotta love his art it's a lot of nudity a lot of violence uh cool stuff um i'm trying to find something where i'm okay to show it i mean it's all hand drawn but YouTube's kind of kind of sketchy when it comes to showing certain things. It's just a lot of um, male and uh, female nudity throughout here. Um, I mean, the the main guy here, Dan, is like he's naked throughout the whole thing. Um, this one's okay to show, but just I just want to at least show something to show you the bright, vivid colors. Good stuff. So okay, so that's the horror comics and stuff I got. I got grabbed, added into the collection for now. Uh, here's the spine. So get more of that stuff. I got. I also have his uh, murky, murky world coming in as well. Um, that one just got released not too long ago. All right, now on to the what I would call miscellaneous. Just a little bit of this and that um, um finally got this added into my um can't have bram stoker's dracula without uh the one that inspired it so i got Car carmilla i'm not gonna it'll take a couple of hours and i'll be done with this little book but uh really nice addition gotta love that so yeah the um cult classic that inspired dracula but this is um published through pushkin press Really nice book. 
quote on the back. So a few um, illustrations throughout this book too, which is pretty cool. Well, hand-drawn illustrations. Uh, you're going to want a cover sleeve for sure. Um, nothing. You do get a uh, nice little some spine art along with the title. So, great. This won't take long to finish. Um, this is a couple hours worth of reading and you're done. So that's awesome. I like the much smaller books. Oh, okay. I thought this one maybe had an illustration or two. I thought it did. Not that it needs it. I could have swore. Maybe there's another book I get, I'm getting this confused with. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I thought this did have a few uh, little, like, vampire illustrations of a... Ah, I can't keep up. I can't remember everything that I've thumped through uh, over the past month. So, that's that. I had to get that. Uh, pretty cool. So, got to get the one that started it all. So, put that right there. And then, uh, this intrigued me. I've always been into, like getting into reading more about the hoodoo and voodoo and the history behind all that. Um, especially with being, uh, having grown up in Louisiana. So I grabbed this, uh, the spirits of New Orleans, New Orleans, however you guys want to say it. I just say New Orleans. Um, voodoo curses, vampire legends, and cities of the dead. Yeah. Really nice. Nicely put together book. There's the back. Sorry for the glare. Goes over a little bit of every little you know, spooky thing down in New Orleans. A lot of black and white photography, as well as some illustrations, some hand-drawn stuff. Wait a minute. Well, I guess I'm a liar. It's all just photography. I don't see any like, hand-drawn art in here. It's all interesting stuff. So, anyway, I've had my. There's another book I've had my eye on for quite some time. And then, I think I'm done with collecting pirate stuff. This one was the last one that was on my want list, and that's the, the Pirate's Code. Uh, laws and laws and life aboard, aboard ship. So it'd be cool reading about the, all the little rules and what can't be broken on a pirate's ship. So I think that's kind of cool. So that was the last book on my pirate's theme book list that I... I've been wanting to get so this is by Rebecca Simon love the spine um, let's see Travel published through hmm. anyway there's a write-up on the back hopefully you guys can see that Maybe that's better. Maybe you guys saw that. Okay. What's it look like without its... Huh? That's cool. Love that gray. Now this one does have a few illustrations here and there. Quite a few, actually. Try to find the one where the, the making the guy walk the plank. <laughs> Classic classic brutality but beautiful stuff another cool book so 
some of these illustrations are pretty, pretty good. Just checking my time. <clears throat> Cool. That's that one. And then I didn't have this. Uh, I decided to go after this particular edition because it's got a lot of great reviews. Um, feels leather bound. <laughs> it's very nice. Uh, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. Uh, yeah, the Brothers Grimm collection of fairy tales. Oh, Rumpet stilts getting all that other crazy stuff. Very nice. Very nice edition. You guys can see that that embossing. Certain parts of the forest are like raised. Very cool. Uh, very cool to finally get this uh, collection of uh, Grim stuff. Open it up. You got your little spooky owl right off the bat. <laughs> Gotta love that. Um, yeah, there's there's plenty of these stories I've never read before, so. Yeah, I'd say about 50% of this is going to be very, very new to me. So cool. Love these books. I have a collection of just these short stories. So that's that. Beautiful book. Love that. Love the spine there. Good stuff. All right. Those are good to like take on like, if you go to trips. Take the take with you on trips um uh yeah grabbing some more mary shelley uh, this is the gothic fantasy horror stories collection another beautiful edition only familiar with uh frankenstein so a lot of this is going to be i say a lot but i'll bet i'll probably be surprised that i've actually read some of these stories before I just, there's some that I, are not familiar to me. So, pretty neat. So, beautiful. This is by uh, Flame Tree Publishing, forwarded by Fiona Sampson. Good stuff. If you look closely, you can see old uh, Frank Monster right there. <laughs> That's cool. That's that. And then I didn't need this because I already have these stories, but this book is just, it's just badass looking, so I couldn't resist uh, the commemorative edition of, for the Necronomicon, H.P. Lovecraft's Necro Necronomicon. Uh, the, the best weird tales all collected in this book. So, like I said, I already had pretty much all these stories, but to have this on its own, like, really nice edition... I, I could not resist, and this particular book has a lot of great raving like reviews. So, um, let's open it up. Get that like a map. Got a few ads back here, including one for like uh, a few from like Weird Tales because yeah, they did some H.P. Lovecraft stuff in there. Or some of his stories were in with weird tales back then. So cool. Um, this is a beast. I'm going to be proud of myself when I finish this for sure. It's like, but yeah, awesome. It's badass. And then uh, just to uh, collect with my uh, books dealing with death and everything, uh, this one sounded too good to pass up. So this is another one that's been on my want list for quite some time. This one dropped in price. I snatched it up. That's the Victorian Book of the Dead. So it just covers how everything was done back in the Victorian age. Uh, as far as funerals, how funerals were done. and Even the design of gravestones. And uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, how pictures were taken of loved ones and all that good stuff. So... Um, yeah, I just cannot resist, so it's another one off the want list for sure. And it's got some really wild, um, illustrations in here as well. 
all done in like that Victorian sort of classic style. Love it. Here's the write-up from the back. <clears throat> if I seem tired, guys, my apologies. It's been a long day. I just got off, so. Um, plus, I've been training for uh, another marathon, so I am, my legs are toast right now. Anyway, um, I'm rambling. But yeah, Victorian, the Victorian Book of the Dead. Awesome. Here's the spine. And then uh, just collecting a few, just collecting more of the books on uh, cryptids and like legendary folklore of uh, these creatures through different parts throughout the country. Um, yeah, freaky fl uh, folklore. This is one of those books I could have easily found at Barnes and Noble. I just, they have tons of these kind of books at Barnes and Noble, but I have not had time to make it out, out to my local Barnes and Noble, so I just got this one off, off um, through Amazon. Pretty cool illustrations. Uh, all the artwork is done by the same artist. I forget the name and I cannot find it. Never heard of that one before. <laughs> it's pretty wild. So yeah, pretty cool book. Um, yeah, terrifying tales of the world's most elusive monsters and enigmatic cryptids. Darkness prevails with Carmen Carrion. That's how you say the last name. Pretty cool. Right up on the back. I don't think I showed you guys the back. So that's that. Freaky, freaky folklore. I'll show you guys the back of this one. A uh, good quote from Stephen King. Again, that's the Necronomicon. That's another reason that I wanted this book because of the Stephen King quote on the back. Pretty freaking cool. All right. Then grabbing these books that uh, sort of go over the history of uh, torture devices. Uh, this is the Instruments of Torture. And then you've got that brutal Iron Maiden right there for the cover art. That's awesome. This is by Michael Carrington. Carrington. There are some torture devices I've never even heard of before. Uh, some ones that are just crazy, crazy, brutal, cruel stuff. Um, it's <sighs> humanity. Mm. Anyway, definitely after more of these type of books for sure. But yeah, it's a good start. And then eventually in life, sooner rather than later, this is a museum I've always wanted to go to, if I can say the name properly. Frag Fragonard Museum. I think it's near near Paris. One of my favorite horror films. Um, I think it was either early two thousand or late late nineties. It's called uh, Anatomy. It even had a sequel. Well, I definitely like the first Anatomy movie. I think they got their inspiration just because of this museum and the, the guy behind it that pretty much started it all. Yeah, this is pretty wild. Uh, I think it's okay for me to show some of this. Let's see what it looks like without the dust jacket. Solid, like a burnt orange color, which is cool.
Sorry about that. I'm getting distracted. Okay, let me flip through here, show you guys some examples as best I can. Whew, that is wild. Crazy. Yeah, it's definitely a museum I've always wanted to visit. Um, I plan on it. Crazy stuff, so yeah. Crazy cool. This is another big boy. Um, finally got this one off my w uh, wish list. This is another book that dropped way down in price, so I jumped on it. Uh, I've been wanting this for quite some time. The Incredible Bones of the Nerenturum, Niren Niren uh, the uh, photographic comparative atlas of the pathological and anatomical collection of the Fool's Tower. What a title. Just, it, it covers all kinds of diseases, diseases that uh, have affected the bone and what it does to the, to our bones, that kind of thing. So, and deformities and stuff like that. So it lists just about any kind of bone disease you can think of, and it shows the effects of it all. Brutal, uh, scary stuff. Um, <laughs> Hold on. This is a scoliosis. Where is it? Oh, that poor kid. Ah. Trying not to rip the pages. Oh, that is brutal. That was done. Uh, that's the effect of uh, having a... Um, oh, what did it say that disease is from? But look what it does to the rib cage. That had to have been painful. That had to been painful for this poor victim of this disease. Look at that. How it just ate away and made certain... Certain parts of the rib cage into like needles practically needles you wouldn't want to get out of bed uh, suffering from this disease this is this is due to um oh what's the it's from the 1930s and what's the infection
tuberco tuber tuberculosis. That's what it was. It killed. It uh, tuberculosis was um yeah that deadly deadly stuff during that time. Yeah, so that's that. book for now um this is basically faces of death in book form really um this is an old book uh it's by it's put out by feebles feebles press and it's called violence in our time it's all black and white uh photography and probably like the latest photo that i could find was in a late 70s so i'm thinking this book was put out maybe in the early 80s i've tried to find a date and when this book was released it's it's an old one um but pretty neat to have uh i can't flip th through much too much in in this book because there's a lot of um gore <laughs> it's all black and white but um but i don't know how youtube's gonna be I can just show you, um, it just goes over riots, accidents, uh, vehicular accidents, and mostly war stuff, so, and some murders, assassinations, yeah, so it's basically like a, a shockumentary in book form, really, um, I have another book that's kind of like this, I can't show that, uh, some of this stuff's a little too... Granted, my videos aren't for children, and I mark them that way, but still, I don't want to upset some of you who don't care to see this kind of stuff. So, uh, I can show this, but yeah, just interesting book to have, nonetheless, so. Decent shape, a little tattered here. On the edges but not bad what's it look like without the dust jacket nothing anything on the spine yeah you get that okay i don't know if you, i didn't know if i already showed you guys that so okay that's it that is the book haul for me this is update yeah 28 so i'll come at you with a movie collection update been letting it build august was kind of slow so um yeah I got some uh, horror movies I'll show you guys uh, coming up here. I'll probably do it sometime uh, October. So that'll be a cool, fun, spooky October video. Why not? I say spooky just because it's horror movie collection. So whatever. Uh, take it easy, guys. Appreciate your time. Later.